Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my pop-up book with the double wiper. So I've done a new home card. So I've just kept the front quite simple. And then when you open it up, you have this wonderful pop-up and this double wiper. So I've got my new home stamps and dies there. You have the keys to so let the fun begin. Today's the day you're moving in. Fill all those rooms with laughter and tears and make lots of memories to last throughout the years. You can see all the detail there I've used my coloured pencils and then my accent glaze and I've used some vellum there for the pages as well and then it all closes up you've got space on the back to write your message and that will go into a box envelope or you could make one of my bouncy envelopes and I'll share those tutorials now and throughout the video as well so let's get started and I'll show you how to make it so for this double wiper pop-up book I'm using the pop-up book mechanism with the additional wiper dies so I'll talk through this one first. I'm also using the New Home Edition florals, the Sympathy Editions. These ones here, although they're feathers, they also can work as leaves. And then I've got the New Home stamp set and I've also got the Bookmark and Wax Seal stamp set for the numbers for the pages. So in this set here, you get all of these dies. So I'm going to do this one a little bit different and I've used vellum as well. So I've got my largest die. And I've used a 300 GSM cardstock, so I've cut that one there. And I've stamped my numbers already. Then I've got the next, oh no, then I've done it again in vellum. So that's going to sit over the top. So you can still see the number, but I just thought it was just added in like another page. And then I've gone for white again in the next size down die. And then with this one, I've cut it again in white and also in vellum. So I've got the largest with the vellum on top. Then I've left the middle one, just so it pops a little bit in between the vellum. And then I've got vellum on top of that one. I've then stamped and coloured these ones here and cut them out. Now you need to make sure that you've got them in the right orientation because you've got more of a curve on the top dies there and then a smaller curve on the bottom. So make sure that deeper curves at the top so you cut them the right way. You then also get all of these pieces. You want to cut one of this one here and then two of this die here okay and then with the wiper set i've cut two of this one just to reinforce the outer edges here but i'll show you that in a moment moment so two of that one and then again because i'm doing a double i've cut two of the saddle this one here now you may find you don't need to have all of that you know everyone's going to have something different popping out so that's why we've also given you the hearts and the squares so the squares look really nice with a photo in them or a nice sentiment and you know you might have some nice papers with some images that are already colored that you can cut out so you can have anything but that's more of a platform to attach things to so get all that cut and ready back to the book for the minute i like to just go over you'll need to just add your score lines in the middle because this is going to fold in half so just find a track that that center lines up with and just run that through and score that one and then again with the vellum you could just fold the vellum in half if it's too delicate okay so get those all folded in half and then i'm just going to use my bone folder here and i'm just going to curve all of them you don't have to do this but i just think it does make it look more book like if you just add a bit of shape to the pages so now we want to stick all of the pages together so I'm just using a thin red tape and I'm just going to run it along either side of the score line I'm not going to go right to the top because you'll see the tops of the glue otherwise so don't go right to the ends and then I'm just going to lay the whole piece over this one so I know I've got it all lined up and then stick that down and then I'm going to take that one and stick it over there so again just use your tape you can use liquid glue as well if you want just sit that in the middle so you've got an equal top and bottom border there and then just repeat again, so it'll be this one. Okay, again, with that vellum, I've just made sure the tape doesn't go right to the top. And then those are gonna cover 
that tape like so. So again, I'm just going to run. You can add the glue over all of it if you want to, but I think it's quite nice having it a little bit lifted. I'll tack some of it in place just so that the pages all open out properly, but I think it's nice to leave some of it lifted. Okay, so you can still see the numbers. We've got our shape there. You can just kind of work that a bit more there if you want. But the idea is, is that you have that lovely shape and kind of bounce to the book as it pops out. Right, then I've got my card blank already here. So I've used on the front here my Homes and Garden stamp set or stamp and die set because this coordinates perfectly with the image it's all done by sarah who's my designer so everything will coordinate so i thought it was quite nice to bring that back in and decorate the front of the card and you can build your own house you've got the die there and i've got some lovely cards using that so i thought it'd be nice to revisit it again so i've got a six by six card blank i've cut three pieces of five and three quarter squared so the front and on the inside there and those papers are from the bright and beautiful backgrounds paper pad Again, I do believe there's still stock of that available, but I just pulled out the red there of the door to kind of bring that all together. And I, that's why I went for all white, because the book will really pop against that background. So with these pieces here, you just want to fold and burnish this one so they're all mountain folds. So it looks like this. Again, these ones here. So they've got a bigger square and then the side little pieces. And then with this one, just score the two outer or fold sorry the two outer score lines the middle one is if you want to have more of a spring and i'll use that in other tutorials now if you want you can stick these pieces on now or when the card's together i always do it when i'm building the card so i do it after i've stuck this piece down but if you want to stick those either side of this piece now then you can do that so with this piece here i've cut two just to show you the folding on this one but also how to reinforce it so you might not want to basically you will trim these down because you, unless you're putting it in maybe a seven by seven or an eight by eight card then you'll probably want that height but you'll trim this down and the saddle piece will stick on the top here again you'll trim off some of this as well but you might want to have this you know really long now as you put weight to this it will slightly arch and kind of bow and you kind of want that so that it will slide underneath the book but you also want the strength when it then pops open again, which is why I've reinforced it. So with this piece here, you want to fold all of these. You've got a V shape here and here. You want to make those valley folds. If you want to go over this with your scoreboard first, you can. OK, and you'll see when you do those as valley folds, this middle one, you can just fold that in half like so. That middle one will become a mountain. And just do the same on this end here. And you'll see it will all fold down like so. So with one of them, what I then did, so that's how it will be and that's how we're going to stick it in the card and I've already folded that one. But I'm now going to cut just to show you what you need to cut away if you want to reinforce that piece. And then I stuck it over the top like so, all within the folded part there. And then again with this end, you're just cutting up one side of that V shape and then down through the middle there. And then you've got it for the other side if you're doing a double. OK, but I've already done that and I've used the construction glue and you can hear and see that that's nice and strong. So just burnish that and fold it like so. And then I'm going to use my quick grab glue now and I'm going to cover all of this side here go right up to the edges. You can add glue to both sides and stick it all in at the same time if you want to, but I'm going to do it bit by bit just so it breaks it down now if you want to mark actually this is slightly smaller than six by six i think because it's a shop brought card but yours will be six inches or if it's not just mark the middle so it'll either be three inches or about two and seven eighths and then you want to stick this piece up to the score line not over the score line but up to the score line make sure it's straight against that as well you want that to be able to fold over nicely Okay, and then add your glue all over this side. Make sure the glue is only on this piece. If any glue kind of, you know, goes off onto here or anything, make sure you rub it off because you don't want it all sticking together. So just give that a minute. You want to make sure that's secure. Next, you want to just, just start to put a bit of a curve 
you might want to do it before you stick it in but you just want to curve these pieces down and you'll see when it goes it's going to go under the book that one's going to go off to the left this one's going to come up and under on the right then you're going to take this one here and the end here you'll see is the perfect fit for in there so i'm going to add my glue on this end here and sit that one again up to that score line not over it like so make sure everything's nice and straight if you don't get these bits in straight then your book's going to be wonky just add a bit of pressure there now you don't want to just then add flatten this one and add glue to the top and close it because these pieces are going to stick onto it this has to go over it's like a bridge over these two v kind of pieces so I'm going to add my glue. I always say with these kind of things, do a test run first. You know, if you get the dies, cut it all and make yourself a sample first, just so you can get an understanding of how it all works. So as I'm closing this, you can see I've got my hand around it, just kind of squeezing it together. And I want that to go over and just kind of push it in. But can you see that they both go under that bridge and then close that all up again? Just give that a minute to dry. So that's all secure and you can see how they slide underneath that bridge, okay? Next, you wanna take these pieces, you might have already stuck yours down, but you're gonna match the squares to each side here and you want them to stick out. So it's gonna create a cradle for the book to sit in. I'm just gonna add my glue on there. It's literally, the book just kind of sits on it. It's it, The support comes from these pieces I've kept everything small because I want the book to look like it's floating. Even with the wiper pieces, the smaller this all was in the middle meant that the book, you can see, it just covers it all and just looks like it's floating. And that's what I wanted. So, and again, just close that all up and let that all secure itself. Okay, so now we want to add glue to each of these. And then you're going to take your book, fold it in half. It's going to go between these two and in the middle of this. So I'm just going to pop that in place, let those sit on the side at the minute. You can see there, if you use your liquid glue, glue, you've got time to move it around and just make sure it's all straight, like so. So now you'll have a wobbly book, but don't worry about that because that's where these pieces come into play. So what's going to happen is this one here is going to slide under. They slide under the opposite sides, but we will guide those in in a moment. So if I just go to close it like so, OK, and then when it opens, you can see how they pop out. And we just need to now secure this in place. So although this is on the right hand side, this is going to slide down into the left hand side. So you want your stopper to be one of them to be up in the top right. And then this one will be in the bottom left because that one's going to go up under there. And those are going to support and pull out the book. Now you can have these if you don't have the wipers, then you can pop these like inside like this. But because you want to have room for whatever you've got on the wipers to slide in and out, I'm going to have them more towards the top here. So I'm just sticking. I've added my glue to the end there and I'm just sticking that one about a quarter of an inch in from the top and from the side there. You want to make sure that's completely dry before we do the next bit because it's going to pull on this. And then again, add that one. Okay, I'm just going to leave those to dry for a minute. Okay, I do one at a time. So I'm back up in this corner again. This time you're going to add your glue on the end, on the other end there, but fold the whole thing flat. So the whole of that panel and that piece. And you want to just guide, bring the card up and guide the wipers under. And then you'll see it's all flat in there. Just let that fold down completely flat. And just hold that there for a minute. OK, now carefully, I recommend holding that still and then let it all pop out. And also what you might want to do is trim these down now before you add them. It will just help. I'm going to take about an inch and a half off. That's going to be plenty still. And again, do the same on that one. 
you might find snip them off first if you need to um, and then add those pieces okay but that one looks pretty secure so now I'm going to take the other one and add the glue again again try not to go too mad with the glue make sure you keep the glue just in that part okay and then again make sure they clip underneath And then keep that one down flat and close it all up. So that's everything stuck internally, all of this. And my decoration is for the pop-up pieces. So again, I'm just going to hold those two as that opens and you'll see that they will pop up. So then I've got my saddle here. Now, when you attach this, you want to have the end here just underneath the page. That will then already guide this piece to go under that way. And then this one here. Again, you'll see it will guide itself under that way. I'm going to snip that off because I don't need all of that. Again, it's going. To, everyone's is going to vary. And then add my glue. Again, just shape that if you need to a little bit more. And just stick that one down like so. And then again, just bend that a little bit. Okay, so now it's down to decoration. So with these, whatever you have down here, you want it to cover, you want it to stick on here, but you want it to go across this point here, or the, the center fold, should I say. So like that one there, I'm gonna stick there so that that will now slide and it's not gonna catch. So if I go to close that now, it's gonna catch on that fold there. So you wanna have something that it can glide across now, the big square that goes on there, you know, it's not going to catch on nothing because it's a big area. It's a big surface area. You might have a circle or a bigger flower or a photograph or something. So there's always going to be something, you know, everyone's going to have something different. But I just want to show you how you can do it with these bits here. So I'm just going to add some glue on there and then just stick that one like so. Just give that a minute to dry. And I'm going to do the same. What do I want to have at the top? The blue and the small blue. So I'm going to do the same with this one at the bottom. Okay, so now you can see when I go to push the card closed, see how nicely that just slides underneath and everything hides itself inside the card. Get those in place first and then build from that but every time you stick something down make sure you check it first close it and make sure it will um you know all hide itself as well i think i'm going to end up having a few more flowers because i do want to cover a lot of this here but if you feel like you know you don't want to have so much there then cut that off you know it's all on the back no one's going to see it so i'm going to have that flower and then the light blue and I've got the leaves as well so I'm going to have a play around anyway and start building this all up and then I'll show you it when I'm all finished So that's everything stuck down. I think it looks lovely. So just every time you stick something, just go to close it. And I had these a little bit too high, so I just had to bring them in a little bit lower so they didn't stick out the side. But now when that closes, it all slides up inside and that will go into a six by six box envelope. And then when they open it, it all pops out. You can, like I said, tack these. I'd put it quite far in. So just pop a little bit of double-sided tape like quite far in so that all these are still quite loose because I think that adds to it. I think that's what you know just gives it that pop-up book and you can see when it goes in because you don't want anything to hit these pieces can you see it all just slides in underneath same with that side there 
So you can have a lot popping out because you've got basically all that space in there. That's why I've done these small. That's why that's all small, just so that you can really have a lovely big pop out. So I hope you've enjoyed this double wiper tutorial from me today. As always, everything I've used will be linked in the description box below and I'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. See you then. Bye.